everybody, my name is Lance Johnson. I'm a teaching artist. I wanted to share some artwork with you guys today. Um, I know it could be a little frustrating. We're stuck inside. Um, you know, it, we're all in this together. We have to know this. And I know it can feel a little frustrating just being, not being able to see your friends and staying outside. A great way to pass your time would be to create art, right? Art is therapy and creativity is freedom. So I want to share a project that I have with you guys. It's called uh, Selfie, Self-Portrait Beyond the Physical. And the whole idea with this project is for you to define yourself outside of what you look like, outside of what you wear, right? Too often we're inundated and we're so consumed with selfies, right? Everybody wants to take a selfie and um, sh show a glamorous side of themselves. And it can be a little depressing, right? So I want us to create an art piece that's a collage project that defines ourselves on our own terms, right? And um, I'm gonna share some of the um, things you need for this project, right? One, scissors. If you have any scissors around the house, uh, we're gonna be cutting some pictures out and placing them on a piece of paper. Another um, important thing would be magazines. I'm sure you have some uh, old magazines laying around the house. Um, your parents may have some, or you may have some cool magazines. Uh, we're going to be using these to find pictures that represent us, right? That define us. Um, also, I'm using Mod Podge, right? It's not important to use Mod Podge. You can use Elmer's glue if you have it. You just put it in the bowl, place a little water in the bowl with it, mix it up, and you can create your own Mod Podge. Um, also, I like to use markers. You know, I use a lot of words in my work. Um, use any type of markers you have. If you have Crayola, it's fine. Um, the most important thing is to have a good time, have fun, right? There's one rule that I have when I create projects, when I create workshops and stuff like that, when I'm working with kids. The one rule that I have is there's no mistakes in art. So this is going to be a fun project for you to do, that's to pass your time while you're inside. Um, you can put the video games down for a little bit and have fun creating. So I wanted to share a piece that I created, and I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see it. This is my self-portrait. As you can see, there's no pictures of me in here, but these are things that represent me as a person, right? So as you can see here, I have the word community service, right? And for me, art is about community service, about inspiring people with my art. Another thing that you should think about when you're creating, right? What inspires you? What are the things that inspire you, right? So I have some artwork in here. I have some words that mean a lot to me. Culture, remaking the future. Uh, I'm a New Yorker, so I had to put New York in there somehow. And these are just things, you, ideas you can think about when you're creating your piece, right? So I think we should make a piece together if you're ready. Um, I have some images that I've cut out already from the magazine to place on my piece, right? Now, if you're using uh, glue or whatever, you can use a brush so you don't get messy. For me, I like to use my hands, but that's optional. But again, after you're done, of course, you need to wash your hands. Think about things that inspire you. Um, go through the magazines, take your time. There's no rush. Um, look for images or words that speak to you, um, whatever you like. If you like sports, you can find images of sports uh, athletes. If you like music, you can find images of music and uh, maybe albums that you like or artists that you like, right? Fashion, it fashions your thing. You got magazines like Vogue or Essence that you can go through and find images of. So it's all about you defining you, right? You taking the power upon yourself to define who you are, right? And it's a very powerful thing, right? So I'm gonna put, I love a lot of bold colors, right? So I found this in a magazine. Uh, it's actually an image of a dress, but I cut it out so you can just see like bold colors. And I'm gonna place this on my piece as part of my background, right? Think about memories too that you may have, right? Uh, if you see a word in a magazine that, you know, can 
bring back a memory that you had. If you see like a, a, a nice image of a sun or uh, trees, that can be part of your project, right? Just think about the, your favorite colors, right? These are all different things that you can create an uh, image that represents you, right? That when somebody sees it, they can see a bit of you inside, right? Not just what you look like or how you dress. To me, that's very important for us. Um, okay, I'm going to put some more. And you see I use my hands. You, again, you can use a paintbrush. But for me, it's all about the process. It's all about having fun and enjoying yourself and getting a little messy. It's okay to get a little messy as long as you clean up after yourself. And it looks like a piece of art. So I'm going to place this on my piece. And again, the number one rule is no mistakes, right? It's all about your creative expression and enjoying yourself and having a good time. I usually like to put on some music when I'm creating. Uh, it helps me expand my creativity and have fun at the same time, you know, listening to my favorite artists. Um, I tend to listen to hip hop and jazz when I'm um, creating. Uh, just because it gets me in a mood, to uh, a, a nice energetic mood. Um, I'm going to play some words. Think about words, too, that inspire you, right? For me, in my art, words are very important to me. So I like to use words like dream, inspire, create, love, live. So, like, I'll place down a word. And this is a project you can share with your whole family. You can all sit down around the table and think about how we define ourselves outside of what we look like, right? What music do we like? What are, what's our favorite artist? What's our favorite sport, right? And that can be your self-portrait, right? Also think about things that you want to have and want to be, uh, like dreams that you may have. You know, put them in your self-portrait. Like me, growing up in the Bronx, I never in a million years thought I could be an artist. And when I was younger, I used to think about it, right? My mom showed me this uh, video of this, the, of the artists of the Harlem Renaissance. And before that time, I would never even imagined I could be an artist as a profession. And then when I saw them, I was so inspired by them that I decided I want to be an artist, right? And that's so important to like, write down and, and voice what you want to be in life, right? So, inspiration is another word that I like to use. I can't imagine not being an artist, you know? It's something that inspires me so much, right? And again, you don't have to finish your piece in one day. Just like your life, it's a work in progress, right? So you can take your time. You don't have to get frustrated while you're doing it, right? If you can't find an image that speaks to you, you can just start it, put it down for a little bit, walk away, do something else, and then come back to it, right? But the whole idea is for you to enjoy the process of creating this work. And then thinking about what makes you you outside of how you look. Think about what your favorite colors are. Right? And think about some memories that may speak to you, right? Maybe it's when we were outside playing, right? Or last summer when you went away, or if you hung out with friends. Just think about those memories as well while you're creating. Art is a good way to express yourself without using words, right? It's a good way to, if you're feeling frustrated, to enjoy yourself. And this collage project is a perfect way to do that, right? Because you can look at these magazines that you have and create new images from the magazines. Art life is about having fun. And I don't want you to get frustrated by this process. So, like I said, if you need to, to step away for a little bit, that's fine. Just step away. But, again, it's a work in progress. 
Yeah, when I was 14, my mom showed me a documentary of the Harlem Renaissance, and uh, I fell in love with this artist. His name was Romeo Bearden. Um, you guys should look up his work, right? He was a, an amazing collage artist. And that's how I fell in love with the, um, the art of collage, because um, he would create these amazing, colorful images, and all he used was old magazines. And I was like, I want to do that when I get older but inspired me to start looking in my magazines and finding images to create my own collages. I used to have these old Source magazines and Vibe magazines. Those were uh, music magazines that I used to love uh, and I would sometimes throw them away, but this time I could use them to create something new, which I thought was amazing, right? So hip hop meant so much to me, so I would use the hip hop magazines and cut out images of my favorite rappers and some song lyrics that I would find in the magazines and I would place them on paper. And the weird thing is when, when I was younger, I was a little nervous showing my work, right? I didn't want anybody to see it. I would create these pieces and nobody would see them. I would hide them. And one day I was looking through some papers and I saw one and I remember how it made me feel. Like just the, the art, just creating the piece made me feel so happy. And I was like, you know what? I want to start creating these things again. And when I did that, I was like, maybe I should start showing people to maybe they'll be inspired. Just the way I'm inspired by seeing these, maybe somebody else will be inspired. So I started showing them to friends and family and the feedback they enjoy, they love the pieces. So which gave me some confidence, right? So whenever you create an art piece, share it with your family, right? See how they're inspired by it. I think it's important for us to share our art because art is about inspiration. It's about making someone else feel good, right? You created something out of nothing and your art made someone else feel good. That's a, to me, that's a very important thing, right? So number one, all right, I asked two rules. Number one rule, have fun. No mistakes in art. Enjoy yourself. Rule number two, try to inspire someone with your art, right? So a friend may be sad. Try to share some of your artwork with them and maybe they'll be inspired by it, okay? A family member is sad. Share your artwork with them. Maybe they'll enjoy it. It's not important to finish your art piece right away. You can take time. Some people, uh, create art and they don't finish it for years, you know? Some people take a week, right? It's not about finishing it. It's about taking your time and enjoying creating. You need to just put it to the side for a little bit, you know? Maybe go eat something or whatever. That's fine, but always enjoy the process. That's the most important thing. I wanna thank you guys for sharing this time with me. I hope you wash your hands. Make sure that you're being safe and have fun. All right? Peace out. I hope you had a good time. Uh, for more arts workshops, check out Arts Westchester's Facebook or Instagram accounts for a new virtual arts mobile video every Wednesday. Peace.